are panicking. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> uh, they are panicking. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We are live and we are direct. <laughs> they are panicking. <laughs> Zoo is panicking. Zoo is panicking. <laughs> Uh, Onye Muche has come back. <laughs> Their friends are coming back to my page. <laughs> ah, Yoruba. It is the truth. I tell you the truth. It doesn't. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're holding my life. You take it. As your putin Was Shoinka not corrupt? Was Tai Sholarin not corrupt? Name one Yoruba man that isn't corrupt. Name one. Come Name one that is good. I said name one. Tell me a Yoruba man that served in the public office and went back with his integrity or her integrity intact. Name one person. You can't. Yoruba should stop supporting evil. Yoruba, stop supporting evil. Okay, okay. This was Mazinam Dekano's message previously, and the message is still standing till date. Whichever tribe you are from, stop supporting evil. Because the evil you support will always come to you. Don't support evil for any reason. That those days Mazinam Dekano was saying, Yoruba, stop supporting evil. And he still openly said, mention any, any Yoruba that served in a public office that went back home with his integrity, integrity intact. Who, which among the Yoruba men served in public offices without compromising? That was the question he was asking. And that question was geared towards telling the Yorubas, not to support evil of any kind. Don't. Even if it's not happening to you, even if it is not coming to you, don't support it. Even if it's happening to someone else, don't support evil for any reason. And the message still stands today. I have to play that clip so that I will admonish everyone on this platform, not just your Yoruba tribe, Igbos, houses, wherever, wherever you are from. Don't support evil, evil so that evil will not find a dwelling place in your home. Yes, it will not find a dwelling place in your home. And that is why Mazi Simon Ekba keeps fighting this corrupt place. Mazi Simon Ekba is doing his best to ensure that evil does not reside in his homeland. What is... Go, go online... Go online and see and see heartless men everywhere. You will just be seeing it with your eyes. The one I saw, I saw the last time. I, 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 I shed tears. What is going on? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! One man of God will tell you that he is not a prophet of doom, but he will not fail to tell you what will happen to you <laughs> if you don't do the needful. And at this moment, at this moment, I will still say, Nigeria, Nigeria, if you know what is good, it is not what is, if you know what is good, do it. Do it now that all hell has not been let loose. Because it, it is not going to be funny, actually. It is not going to be funny. Government, government should look into this matter. Look into this matter. The plateau massacre, Christian massacre, is still is still on the people's neck. And aside from the one that happened earlier, another another attack. <laughs> there was another attack recently. It is not funny at all. It is not even funny a bit. Let's not go there for now. Do you know that ISWAP? ISWAP. Do you know ISWAP? Islamic State of West African Province. ISWAP terrorist, the blew up power transmission tower along Medjugri Damatru Highway. 
the way uh, as i'm reading this headline say there is a way in my body uh, my body is reacting to this like you people know that these are the people doing this it's what did this so what has happened <laughs> Hey, on top of that one, on top of that one, we are still trying to uh, come out of the plateau shock. Someone from somewhere in Bayesa, a 54-year-old man, is planning to get married to a four-year-old child. Hey, confusion everywhere. So where is this pedophile from? Where is he from? <laughs> Hey, my people, you are once again welcome back to Imoko BTV. Here we'll bring you latest updates of all the happenings in and around the country. Subscribe to this channel, like our videos, share our videos, and join us on our Telegram channel and also our Facebook, uh, both at Imoko BTV. You will like what we do there, just join us, okay? All right, let us um, proceed with what we have for the day i will not want to take much of our time so let's start with this news headline a swap blows up power transmission tower along medjugri damatru highway i'll bring us the details shortly and um, here is this queen quagenarian marries four-year-old girl right group kicks Queen Cogenarian, that man, <laughs> a fifty-something-year-old man. That's a Queen Cogenarian. So he 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 has mind, eh, to marry a child that he is fifty years older than. I'm not against him being older than the person. My problem is this is a child. Assuming you are seventy, and this person is twenty, twenty-five. No problem, bad and more. Can go ahead and mar marry the person to wherever you want to. Knowing fully whether he or she is now, that she's an adult, sorry. But this is a four-year-old child that barely knows anything, that cannot even take decision of her own. In the first place, the parents that agreed to marry this child out, what's their plan? We'll get to this. Let's um do the details of this very news. It's what blows up power transmission um, tower along Medjugri Damatru Highway. The Islamic State of West African province, Iswap terrorists have reportedly destroyed another 330 kVA high-tension transmission line along Medjugri Damatru Highway. This was disclosed on Thursday via a post on X by Zagazola Makama a counter-insurgency expert and security analyst in Lake Chord. Zagazola said the incident occurred in the early hours of December 28, 2023, at about 0700 hours, between Yanaka Yanayakiri Garinkuturu in the Jakana general area. According to him, the terrorists had vandalized two transmission towers around Katsaita village on December 21st, causing failure of power supply, parts of Borneo and Yobe. Now, so them they start eh, because before they attack, they will have to off light eh, so there won't be there will be power failure everywhere. So, when they start meandering, when they start carrying out their, their, their projects, nobody will see them. Government should look into this, oh. <laughs> nobody should support evil law. Nobody should support evil. I'm just shouting my own so that everybody will hear me. Nobody should support evil. This isn't right. Where are the right people? Who are where are the right authorities that should look into this? Why is it why why did we not see that government have taken measure on this, on that? On they will all just tell us look at what happened. And so there is no bad news. Someone I have not heard in Nigeria. There is none. Every day, so so wahala, every day, so so trouble. But don't worry. Their friends know what they want, and in due time, everyone will go and answer his father's name. <laughs> okay, okay, let us now go to this because this is this is the one that is paining me. Whoever that supported this marriage is wicked. Eh, the person that supported it, I don't care whether you are the father or the mother or the grandfather, a four year old daughter of yours, you have mind. You don't even think, what do they want to do with my child? Eh? 
this pedophile from nowhere stood up and I want to marry your daughter. A yeah, four oh year old daughter. Uh, take money. Let me marry her. And you with your with your full chest. So where is the love of a mother? Where is the love of a father? Where is parental care and guidance? Where is it? Have we also lost it? Just like most of us lost uh, home training. Have you people also lost parental care and guide? Hey, I'll have to bring us details of this news so that everybody will, will see how it all happened. A child rights advocacy group, Do Foundation, on Thursday kicked against the December 26th marriage between a four-year-old and a 54-year-old man at Akadei community in Saboma local government area of Baesa. The marriage was allegedly consummated at the instance of the child's parents. The 54-year-old man was identified as Elder Abos. The group described the marriage as illegal, criminal, and a child marriage, which is against the Constitution and the Child Rights Act. In a statement signed by its chairwoman, Elvis Mania, the group condemned child marriage as horrendous, despicable, and a criminal activity. According to the civil society group, the act is capable of retarding the giant stride made by the government and the people of Baesa in the area of protection of child rights. It noted that the child right law was domesticated in the state in 2016 and is still in force in Baesa. This law criminalizes child marriages and child betrothals, prescribing various terms of imprisonment and heavy fines. It's noted. The foundation called on the Bayesa government, the gender response initiative team, and all stakeholders and all stakeholders in the gender response system to immediately swing into action to respond appropriately. It urged the security agencies to launch a thorough investigation into the incident with a view to with a view to the protection of the child from sexual exploitation. The group also demanded the arrest and prosecution of all persons culpable in the act. The foundation has launched an investigation into the development to save the child from the obnoxious situation. According to a source who did not wish to be named for fear of penalty for desecrating traditions, the ghost parents claimed that Mr. Boss was her husband in their previous life. Community sources, the girl asserted that the man was her husband who died mysteriously in their previous life. And the child narrated that over the years she had been moving from place to place to be given birth to by different parents, searching for the former husband. The little bride said if she was not allowed to marry her husband, she would have no other business in the academic community and that she was going to die peacefully and go her own way. In order to avoid losing the girl to death, the people of Akede decided to organize a glamorous wedding ceremony to mark the union of the pre two previous life lovers, said the source. <laughs> Nothing aboki no go see for gate. Nothing Musa no go see for gate. Like, hey, <laughs> this is becoming more funny. <laughs> so the parents actually agreed to give out this four-year-old child to a 54-year-old man because this girl claimed that the man, the 54-year-old man, was a lover from previous life. So because she's now born into this place, this part of the world, she's still searching for her lover. And if she fails to find her lover, <laughs> she will die peacefully. <laughs> Hey, so that's why the community have to arrange this. But thank God that the rights group kicked against it, made the rest a beg upon this Nigeria Wahala. When I still get mine, they talk about this. But it's fine. Whatever works for people works for them. Whatever be the case, let them sort it out. That is it about it. All right, my good people, we're calling it a wrap on this note. But let me remind you all again this Mazinam de Kano's message. These are panicking. <laughs> yeah, I love it. 
<laughs> they are panicking. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We are live and we are direct. <laughs> they are panicking. <laughs> Zoo is panicking. Zoo is panicking. <laughs> Onye Muche has come back. <laughs> Their friends are coming back to my page. <laughs> It is the truth. I tell you the truth. It does I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're holding my life, you take it. Yes, you put in again. Was Shoinka not corrupt? Was Tai Sholari not corrupt? Name one Yoruba man that isn't corrupt. Name one. Name one that is good. I said, Name one. Tell me a Yoruba man that served in the public office and went back with his integrity or her integrity intact. Name one person. You can't. Yoruba should stop supporting evil. Yoruba, stop supporting evil. And that is it about it. Seriously, I miss Mazin Namdekano. If you don't miss him, maybe you are not a true Biafran. <laughs> That's what Biafrans are saying now. If you don't miss Mazin Namdekano, you are not a true Biafran. Actually, I personally, I miss Mazin Namdekano. <laughs> All right, this is Imokovi TV. Subscribe to this channel, like our videos, share our videos, join us on Telegram and Facebook at Imokovi TV. Until next time, be a good citizen. Thank you for joining us.